I fear no man, but that thing. Thornton Smash here and today is the last day of the threat level event as it ends but with it we are getting a brand new store rotation with a brand new shop rotation right alongside with it of course there's gonna have to be an update because there are a lot of issues and bugs in the game right now that is making it nigh impossible to play we're also gonna give out 45 bucks all you gotta do is like comment subscribe you guys know the drill but without further ado let's talk about what's in today's major changes all right so the threat level event is finally done within apex legends and we can be looking forward to the new store rotation which will feature the bloody buccaneer for Bloodhound today, but along with that, you can also be expecting the Slingshot Valkyrie to be making its return, and that will be in the normal shop rotation, but that's not all, as we do have a brand new store rotation, which, I mean, let's be honest, the threat level event was a store sale, but regardless, you can be looking forward to getting the Dark Apparition Wraith. Along with that, there will be the Fallen Guardian Gibby Bundle, and, of course, the Soulless Century Revenant. They all have the black and gold theme, and they will be bundled with select weaponry, and you can be expecting to see the Owl's Prey for the Prowler. Along with that, the final act for the R301 will be accompanying these skins as well, so you should have a little bit of a choice between what you want. We won't be seeing the next collection event for Apex Legends until June 20th, which is when we will get the Rest to Kill OP Hitman event, but today we should be expecting some updates and fixes to the game. One thing listed for a fix is you cannot interact with zip lines during battle retrieval animation. This is listed as coming in a future patch, so it does appear that they have figured it out. This has mainly been impacting Pathfinder, but along with that, there is a battle pass issue that is also listed as coming in a future patch where it says deal 50,000 damage instead of 5,000 damage. This has been on for quite a while and it still hasn't been put into the game so I have to imagine it's ready to go. Otherwise a lot of people are not able to progress their battle pass in the way they should be and it's getting towards the middle point of the season and it's just not a good look at this point. Something absolutely huge that they are taking a look into is the fact that there is a huge issue with the LP in the game right now if you are playing ranked where it doesn't matter how many kills or the difficulty of the opponent that you are taking out you don't seem to gain any ladder points whatsoever. 132 people just on the EA forum have reported this problem but it's pretty much all over social media anywhere you go. EA David, who is the community manager and also a respawn dev, said he didn't have any real update, but it's a situation of where there is something related to the MMR and factor why players aren't getting bonuses, along with the fact that respawn does seem to be doing something with the issue of ratting, where people are just hiding to the end game and that they're trying to make it a little bit more balanced and something just got screwed up. Because as you can see from the current ranked loadout right now, master players are absolutely tied up with diamond, getting close to surpassing the platinum players. Gold is not nearly as high as it did before, and I would would imagine a lot of those bronze players you're seeing on this chart just haven't played ranked or gave up but if you're expecting a fix sometime soon it might be longer than we think because something that is being investigated and hopefully coming in a future patch is players can get stuck in certain replicators after crafting an item and this has been an issue at least since season 16 that i'm aware of yet it still is being investigated and doesn't seem to have a full fix ready to go along with that support bins are not awarding mobile respawn beacons when an ally is dead which is a new buff for the support class unfortunately it's not working as intended and as we've gone over in the past the firing range aim assist doesn't work on all dummies but it should be working in your game this is being investigated but it isn't ready for a fix quite yet either but hopefully we see something very soon and something a lot of other players seem to be having an issue with is they cannot access the legends the store the battle pass or weapons they can't get into anything whatsoever and ea david that developer did state that it is something that they are actually looking into respawn has acknowledged that this is a problem and hopefully they find something in the near future but they don't have a full update on when this will actually be fixed very similar to the way that the nintendo switch platform still is waiting on getting their accounts back to the former progress they were yet there's been no official respawn statement on when we can actually expect that to happen but do enjoy that store sale right always remember folks vote for your wallet if you are happy with the current state of the game if you want those skins go grab them if not wait until some of these things are fixed before you spend your money on it let me know down below what do you think about the store rotation coming in today the store sale are you more excited for the actual first collection event we'll be getting this season and don't forget to check out the second channel by my editor novel right here and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands and i'll see you out there